Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dan, otherwise known as Bonds Productions. And I'm pretty sure you guys never heard of me, but hopefully out of curiosity you'll check me out afterwards. But first things first, big thanks to iPod King Carter for giving me the chance to post up my commentary on his channel. What he's doing is great for us YouTubers because it's hard out there for a YouTube pimp, oh excuse me, I mean commentator. But really, this gives us more exposure than College Girls and Girls Gone Wild. And it's just a great opportunity for me to try to get out there more in the YouTube community. So as for the gameplay today, we have a free-for-all on Resistance with me using the G36C with the Red Dawn Silencer, my favorite class setup by far, with the perks I'm using being Scavenger Pro, Hardline Pro, and Serrat Pro. But typically in my commentaries, I don't talk much about gameplays. Usually I talk about more by topic, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. So basically there are three different kinds of packages in Modern Warfare 3 of Killstreaks, and those are the Assault, Support, and the Specialist package. So I'm just going to go on a little talk about all three of the packages and I gotta say that my favorite has to be the assault package just because God, it's just it's nice to get kills in this game, especially with my setup I use the UAV, Pred Missile, and the Attack Helicopter which is really keeping it simple like the good old COD 4 days, 357 setup and here you look at the killstreaks I'm on for 3 and they're all pretty damn good like the Pavlo, the Juggernaut suit, the AC-130 and such and if you get those kind of killstreaks the game's pretty much over just because you're gonna kill everybody and just rip their faces off but really I feel like I don't like going for the high killstreaks just because I get extremely rageful and frustrated when <laughs> I get killed by something that's BS like you know, you know, in Modern Warfare 2, you had the Commando Lunge where you go like 50 feet and stab a guy, and then you had in Black Ops the Wanted Pro where you'd be running around the corner and then all of a sudden like five bullets come around and shoot you right in the head. Stuff like that really makes me frustrated about this game. So that's why I use the low streaks just because it's not that stressful at all. Just because, hey, I died, but I can get a, I can get a UAV and two kills, which is nothing. So basically, the assault package was made for guys who go on some insane kill streaks and never die. And basically make little 12 year old kids never want to play Modern Warfare 3 again so they sell their disc and buy Lego Harry Potter or something like that. So if you're the kind of guy that goes 5 and 30 then this package is not for you. The package for you my friend is a support package which is basically noob friendly and I put air quotations above that. So with the support package basically it's what it is. It supports your team. You have UAVs, advanced UAV, you have a recon drone. You have Sam turrets, anything to help your team out. That kill streak is in the support package, and I got to salute Infinity Ward because they thought about everybody in this game. In previous Call of Duties, if you got, if you never died and such, you always get rewarded with all these kill streaks. But if you're bad, you really got nothing. You really got the sense of, wow, I don't want to play COD anymore because I suck so bad. But now with this package they included, you know, you can go five and thirty and at least still get at least one kill streak in the whole game. I mean, even if Stevie Wonder got into like a freak accident and lost his arm, I'm pretty sure he can still get a UAV in one entire game. <laughs> Alright, but enough talking about great musicians losing their arms. Let's move on to the last and most unique package of this entire game, and that is the Specialist Package. So the concept of the Specialist Package is pretty easy to understand. Uh, for every two kills you get, you get an extra perk added to your loadout. So once you hit eight perks... You're basically a one-man army. You're, you are the birth child of Chuck Norris and God himself. <laughs> and this package is just pretty much for those people who use the assault package. The ones that go on pretty insane kill streaks. Because you're going to be unstoppable once you get all eight perks in the game. Which is like crazy. It's almost feel like you're cheating or hacking or whatever. <laughs> but you're not. And that's why it's so much fun. But personally, I got to say the best strategy to use the specialist package is by using Hardline as your first tier 2 perk. Because once you get your first kill, you're already off on your per kill streak, and you're gonna be unstoppable in no time. But that's pretty much it about all the packages in Modern Warfare 3. I gotta say they are all balanced out. I know that the specialist package sounds overpowered as like crazy. I don't, it's just it sounds so bad, but it's completely balanced out because you are your perk, you are your kill streak, you are using your gun only, and you're not using any other predator missiles or attack helis or anything like that. The assault package is balanced out just because, god damn, people will be shooting down my air support so fast and quick right even before it gets to the map. So I'm not complaining, at least people are shooting down and being team players. And as for the support package, it's perfectly fine just because, hey, you're helping your team out, you're not kill whoring or anything, and it's just it's fine. You're not getting any kills, it's just helping your team out and such. And uh, so far, I'm loving Modern Warfare 3. It's a really great game, and I can't wait to play some more of it later on. But uh, yeah guys, that's the end of the commentary. Final score is 30 and 1. If you enjoyed this video, 
uh, be sure to hop by my channel and check out my other videos if you would like. And thank you once again, iPod King Carter, for giving me this chance to get more exposure. And I hope to see you guys around my channel sometime soon. So until next time, peace!